Good morning, dear children. Welcome back. I am your social science teacher, Mrs. Sitara. In today's session, we are going to do class seven, term three in social science, geography unit two, map reading, book bag evaluation. Come, children. Let us learn. Roman number one. Choose the correct answer. Question number one. The science of map making is called dash. The science of map making is called dash. Options are geography, cartography, physiography, physical geography. And the answer is cartography. The science of map making is called cartography. Question number two. North, south, east, and west. are four directions called as dash north south east and west four directions are called as dash options are cardinal geographical latitudinal angles answer is cardinal north south east and west are called as cardinal directions sir Question number three: Cultural maps are those which shows the dash features. Cultural maps are those which shows the dash features. Answers options are natural, man-made, artificial, environmental. The answer is man-made. Cultural maps are those which shows the man-made features. Roman number two: Fill in the blanks. Question number one. Dash is an essential tool of a geographer. Dash is an essential tool of a geographer. Answer is map. M A P map. Question number two. The directions in between the cardinal directions are the intermediate dash. The directions in between the cardinal directions are the intermediate directions. D I R E C T I O N S directions. Question number three. Dash in a map which explains the different colors and symbols used in it. Dash in a map which explains the different colors and symbols used in it. Answer is legends or keys. L E G E N D legends or keys K E Y S keys. Number four, cadastral maps are known as dash. Cadastral maps are known as dash. Answer is village and town maps. Village V I L L A G E village and town T O W N town M A P S maps village and town maps. Question number five: The small scale maps are helpful to us to show large areas like dash and dash. The small scale maps are helpful to us to show large areas like dash and dash. Answer is continents and countries. Continents, C O N T I N E N T S, continents. Countries, C O U N. T R I E S countries. Roman number three. Circle the odd one. Question number one. North east scale, north west and east. Answer is scale. Question number two. White snow, highland, plains. Answer is plains. Question three. Relief map. Soil map, physical map, atlas. Answer is atlas. Question number four: Weather forecasting, climate, rainfall, and temperature. Answer is climate. Now let us move to Roman number four. Match the following. Let me read out the questions for you. Upper right corner: density and growth. Key or legend: district or town. Large scale map, natural relief features, physical map, colors and symbols, population map in letter. And the answers are upper right corner in letter, key or legend, colors and symbols, large scale map, district or town, physical map, 
natural relief features, population map, density and growth. Roman number 5. Examine the following statements. Question number 1. An atlas is bound a volume of different types of maps. Question 2. Atlas maps are drawn on smaller scale. Number 3. Insignificant details are omitted. The answers are 1 and 3 are correct, 2 and 3 are correct, 1 and 2 are correct, 1, 2 and 3 are correct. And the answer is 1, 2 and 3 are correct. Question number 2. Statement 1. Globe is a three-dimensional model of the earth. Statement 2. It is easy to handle and to carry as it, it can be rolled up or folded. Options are statement 1 is correct and 2 is wrong. Statement 1 is wrong and 2 is correct. Both statements are correct. Both the statements are wrong. And the answer is statement 1 is correct and 2 is wrong. Roman number 6. Name the following. Question number 1. Representing the earth on a flat surface. Answer is map. Question number 2. Ratio between the distance on a map and distance on the ground. Answer is scale. S-C-A-L-E scale. Question 3. Symbols which help to show roadways and railways. Answer this is given. See that and draw. Question number 4. A book which contains different kinds of maps. Answer is atlas. A-T-L-A-S atlas. Question number 5. A map which shows administration divisions. Answer is political map. C-A-L political map. Now let us see Roman number 7 answer the following. Question number 1. What is a map? What is a map? Answer is, a map is an essential tool of a geographer. Map is a representation of the earth as a whole or a part of the earth drawn on a flat surface according to the given scale. It can show continents, countries, cities and even local area. I repeat, a map is an essential tool of a geographer. Map is a representation of the earth as a whole or a part of the earth drawn on a flat surface according to a given scale. It can show continents, countries, cities and even a local area. Question number 2. What is cartography? What is cartography? The science of map making is called cartography. Carte means map, graphics means drawing. The science of map making is called cartography. Carto means map and graphic means drawing. Question number 3. What are cardinal directions? What are cardinal directions? Answer. The cardinal directions are north, south, east and west. The cardinal directions are north, south, east and west. Question number 4. What is an atlas? What is an atlas? Answer. Atlas is a collection of maps in a book. Atlas maps are small scale maps covering large areas like continents and countries. Only prominent relief really features, main roads and railway important, railways important towns are shown in atlas maps. The study of geographic characteristics of a large area is possible at that time with the help of an atlas. I repeat, atlas is a collection of maps in a book. Atlas maps are small scale maps covering large areas like continents and countries. Only prominent relief features, main roads, railways, important towns are shown in atlas maps. The study of geographic characteristics of a large area is possible at the time with the help of an atlas. Question number 5. Name the types of atlas. Name the types of atlas. The answer is school atlas, advanced atlas, 
regional atlas national atlas school advanced regional national question number 6 what are the uses of maps answer maps enable us to know details of the land forms maps help the military personnel for planning campaigns it is used in aeroplanes to reach their destinations and the ships to sail safely in the oceans maps are used for weather forecasting and agricultural operations now let us move on to roman number 8 answer in detail question number 1 what are the elements of map write about it the answer elements of maps maps provide us with lot of information and one must know how to read and interpret them every map is provided with certain features that act as an aid to study the information presented in it the basic essential elements of a map are title direction scale and legend or key of symbols title every map has a title that describes the information given in it example a map with title india river show rivers of india direction in general maps are drawn in north orientation and it helps us to find the other direction on the map like east west and south in addition to the north notation latitudes and longitudes were depicted in the margins the north is notified by letter n with an arrow mark scale the scale of a map is the ratio between the distance on the map between two points and actual distance between two places on the ground the scales can be represented as 1 cm is equal to 10 km it means 1 cm on the map is equal to 10 km on the ground it helps to find the distance on the map between the two points legend a legend or a key of a map explains the symbols that are used on it to represent various physical and cultural features the common signs and symbols are internationally accepted and used in maps are called as conventional signs and symbols every map has a legend or a key which explains the different colors and symbols used in it they are depicted by using certain colors symbols or letters Question number 2 What are the three ways of representation of maps What are the three ways of representation of maps Answer Maps are a graphical representation of the world or a section of the world As a representation of the world maps are compressed versions of real world meaning that large piece of land is recreated onto a smaller piece of paper or digital file The relationship between the real world size of a geographic feature and its representative feature on a map is known as scale. There are three main ways that scale is indicated on a map. They are graphic or bar, verbal and representative fraction or RF. Question number 3. Classify the maps based on functions. Classify the maps based on functions. Answer. Physical maps show natural features such as relief, geology, soils, drainage, elements, weather and vegetation. Relief map shows general topography like mountains, valleys, plains, plateaus and rivers. Geological maps are drawn to show geological structures, rocks and minerals. Climatic maps show the distribution of temperature, rainfall, clouds, relative humidity, direction and velocity of winds and other elements of weather soil maps which are drawn to show the distribution of different types of soil and their properties cultural maps which shows the man made features are called cultural maps political map shows the administrative divisions of a country state or district these maps facilitate the administration in planning and management of the concerned administrative unit Population map shows the distribution, density and growth of population, occupation structure and literacy. Economic map depicts the production and distribution of different types of crops and minerals, location of industries, trade routes and flow of commodities. 
transportation map shows roads railways and location of uh, railway station airports seaports etc thematic maps are all such maps that represent the distribution of a particular feature or theme and its spatial variation digital maps is a web based service that provides detailed information about geographical regions and sites around the world question number 4 write about comparison of map and globe write about comparison of map and globe answer map a map is a two dimensional form of the earth globe is a three dimensional model of the earth map shows small or large area a globe is a true model of the earth a map can show a detailed information about an area a globe cannot show the detailed information for an area A map is very easy to carry. A globe is not easy to carry. Question number 5. Describe the types of maps based on scale. Write about it. Answer. Maps on the basis of scale. Large scale maps show small areas in greater details because they are drawn on a relatively large scale. Cadastral maps are village and town maps which show individual fields and house sites. Topographical maps show smaller areas in much greater detail. These are also large scale maps which show both natural features like hills and valleys as well as man made features like buildings, roads and canals. Small scale maps that show large areas like continents and countries. These maps are drawn on 1 cm is equal to 1000 km. These are called small scale maps. Wall maps are small scale maps showing large areas. They are useful for students in classrooms and offices. Small scale maps covers a larger area and depicts with limited information. Atlas is a collection of maps in a book. Atlas maps are small scale maps covering large areas like continents and countries. Only prominent relief features, main roads, railways, important towns are shown in Atlas map. Roman number 9 hots map is an essential tool for a traveler why map is an essential tool for a traveler why answer map is an essential tool for a traveler it helps a traveler to find out direction it also tell about the latitudinal and longitudinal extent of a place it helps one to locate a place easily and follow the correct traveling route roman number 10 activity In an outline map of India mark the following features by using symbols and colors mark any one district capital draw any one river path mark any one mountains you can see the map given there and mark it in the map question number 2 draw the conventional signs and symbols to given points bridge canal dam temple forest railway station See the symbols and draw. That's all for today's session my dear children. Thank you for watching. For more videos please subscribe to our YouTube channel youtube.com/samachirkalviguide. Thank you. Stay blessed.